It's time for us to start talking about organic reactions. And our first video on that topic is going to be to learn about something called react reaction mechanisms. And at the same time, we're going to use this opportunity to refresh your memory about acid base chemistry as you learned it in general chemistry. And actually, that's what we're going to start with. We are going to start by defining again, what does it mean to be an acid and what does it mean to be a base. We're going to start with the Bronsted-Lowry definition of acids and bases. Most of the time, this is the most commonly used definition of acids and bases. A Bronsted-Lowry acid is one that we will define as a proton donor. You may not have used the word proton donor to describe them in general chemistry. Proton is our nickname for the H plus ion, and it's used in organic all the time and not really used that much in gen chem. So in, in gen chem, we would say that a Bronsted-Lowry acid is an H plus donor. In organic chemistry, we would say that it's a proton donor because proton is our nickname for H+. And then the Bronsted-Lowry base is the thing that accepts the proton. So it is the proton acceptor. And we won't review the other definitions of acids and bases for a bit longer. Like I said, most of the time we focus on the Bronsted-Lowry methods. So let's draw a couple of reactions that illustrate this proton donation, proton acceptance. We're going to use NH3 ammonia as our example. And I'm going to draw the Lewis structures. And we'll have ammonia react with water. And ammonia is a weak base, so this reaction exists in equilibrium. So I'm going to have my equilibrium arrows here. And in this reaction, what we see is one of the protons, one of the H pluses from the water, gets transferred over to the NH3 molecule. So we end up with a nitrogen that now has four hydrogens on it instead of three. And our water molecule has one less hydrogen on it. And we've got some formal charges to put on these guys. Nitrogen with four bonds has a positive formal charge. Oxygen with one bond and three lone pairs has a negative formal charge. And it might be, I'm feeling like it might be maybe more useful if I color coded the hydrogen that is being moved in this reaction. So let's draw that guy pink and let's color code that same hydrogen over here. Now notice what's not being moved are the electrons. So the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen those are the electrons that turn into the nitrogen-hydrogen bond. And let's see if we could do a different color. The oxygen-hydrogen electrons, they turn into a lone pair on the oxygen atom. So in this reaction, the way that it's written here, the NH3 turning into NH4, it's accepting a proton, so this guy is a base and the H2O because it's losing or donating one of its protons it is an acid. Let's look at another example. We're going to use the same molecules as our reactants NH3 and H2O. But this time we're going to have something different happen. So this time we are going to move one of the hydrogens from the nitrogen over to the water. So the water is going to increase from two hydrogens to three, and the ammonia is going to decrease from three hydrogens to two. And let me color code again. So let's make the hydrogen that's being moved, let's make it pink, and we'll watch it move from the ammonia over to the oxygen. 
and let's color the nitrogen hydrogen bond green that nitrogen hydrogen bond becomes a lone pair on the nitrogen and let's color one of the lone pairs on the oxygen that lone pair is going to become the new oxygen hydrogen bond so in this reaction this time water is being the base because water is accepting or gaining another hydrogen h plus proton and ammonia nh3 is the acid because it is donating one of its h pluses